Welcome to the Yummy Kitchen. My name is Ekta Patel, and oh uh, no, now you threw me off. Look at this guy. It's fine. Sure? Yeah, we got it. We got it. Sure. I'm a professional, you. Don't worry. <laughs> Shut up. Welcome to the Yummy Kitchen. My name is Ekta, and this is the mystery box. You pick it, I make it. Uh oh. Hi foodies, I'm back with another mystery box at the Yummy Kitchen. Let's find out what they gave me this time. Hmm. Provolone, I like me some provolone. Blue cheese, crowd divider. There's pears, there's Greek yogurt too, onion jam, some uh, chicken breast, and also some puff pastries. What could I make with this? Keep watching and we'll find out together. So first up, we need to brown our onions. I've got some olive oil and butter in my pan here, as you can see. I've got some finely diced red onions. We don't really want them to brown, we just want the onions to sweeten up a little bit. So while that cooks, I'm going to marinate my chicken. So first off, of course, salt, generous pinch, Next up, a little black and white pepper, spice, a little paprika, another one of my favorite ingredients. And then a little bit of mixed herbs just for a bit of freshness. And then at the end, once the chicken is cooked, we'll add some chopped basil too. Make sure it's all coated well before I add the yogurt. So what the yogurt's gonna do is make sure the chicken is nice and moist. And that will really help. So what we'll do is just add the chicken in here and let it cook down slowly. You don't want the heat to be too high because again, what happens is you'll burn the chicken and the yogurt has fat in it so it'll split. The smells are already great, so I can't wait to see what happens when this turns into a pot. Next up guys, we've got the pears and the onion jam that were part of the box that I'm gonna turn into a sauce for the puffs. So I've diced the pears and what I'm gonna do is in a hot pan, medium heat of course, I'm gonna add the onion jam to it. This will caramelize the onions further and when I add the pears to it, what will happen is they'll lend to the sweetness of the jam and they'll caramelize too. So that'll balance the savory umami flavors in the puff really, really well. So I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. I have a non-stick pan and um, this onion jam has a little bit of residual oil in it already from the onions. So what I'll do is I won't add any extra oil. I'll just add the pears and everything will just cook together. So I just want this to come up to temperature. That smells so good already. And then add my diced pears. There we go and I'm just going to let that simmer on a low heat and in a couple of minutes I'll add some water just to make it a little bit more runny and give it that sauce like consistency. In the meantime, my chicken's done so I'm just going to mince the chicken. Um, I don't want it to be too fine because what happens then is you don't really get that bite from the chicken and I didn't overcook the chicken either. So you need to make sure you cook it until it's just done because it's gonna go back in the oven. And then what we're gonna do is add some herbaceous flavor with some basil. What this does is it opens up the dish and even when you're eating the puff, you're not just getting savory notes, you're getting floral herbaceous. I can't even say the word, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Herbaceous notes. So I'm just gonna add this to my bowl here. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle in my chiffonade of basil. My favorite part is here, guys, putting the puff together. We've prepped everything and we're ready to go. So first things first, I wanna try the provolone. See what it tastes like. Mmm, Brown's cheese do such a good job with this. I also really wanna try the blue cheese just to see the strength, just so I know how to pair them properly. So buttery, very nice. Mm -mm -mm. 
those of you out there who don't like blue cheese, if you're gonna become a blue cheese person, you might as well do it with browns. They know what they're doing. We'll start with the puff pastry. So I've just got puff pastry squares here that I'm gonna put on my board. And then what I'll do is what I like to do at home, which is roll it out a little bit. I do like to roll it out just because that gives me more room to work with when it comes to the pastry. So I'm gonna start to assemble my puff. First things first, got our chicken filling. We wanna try and make sure that the filling's laid in evenly and make sure you fill across from the way you're gonna fold. I'm folding over, so I'm filling across. Next thing is the blue cheese. So I'm just gonna take a little sliver of the blue cheese. We don't wanna put too much, because again, it is a strong flavor. So we just wanna put bits of it on top of the chicken and then finish up with some provolone. Okay, Ekta, you need to stop with the cheese. Said nobody ever. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is just fold it over. Make sure you help the filling stay in by just holding it and then just fold it over. This is the easiest way to do a puff. There's very fancy ways online to also do puffs, but this is the easiest and most delicious way to do a puff. I'm gonna use my trusty fork to help me out and just press the dough. And what this does is not only give it a really nice design, but it keeps everything locked in. I'm just gonna wash this with some butter. Okay, a lot of butter. And basically what we're doing is making sure that the pastry stays nice and golden, and at the same time, you get that extra buttery feel on the pastry. And like that, you just assemble all of your pastries, all of your puffs, and just put them into your baking tray. I'm so excited, it's time to get these puffs out of the oven. They look incredible. So puffy, some of the cheese oozed out, but that's okay too. All right, let me see. Can you hear that? Nice and puffy, nice and crispy, I'm ready to dig in. There you have it, chicken puffs with an onion and pear jam. Take a bite. Mmm. Wow, guys. That is really, really good. Make sure to try this recipe out and comment in the comment sections below. Let us know what else you'd like to put in my next mystery box. Also, make sure you try this recipe out. It's actually I surprised myself, it's very good and I think you'll like it too. I'll see you next time, bye.